What's going on YouTube? It's the Green Shiz. Happy, happy Halloween. Um, probably uploading this on Monday. S got a PSA return. I cracked a CGC 9.5 Zapdos. It just came back from PSA. So we're going to get this bad boy open. Um, but I need to thank all of you. I'm up to, I think, 300 and almost 380 subscribers on YouTube. So if you're here, smash the sub button, smash the like button. I've been creating a lot of content. Um, some like it. I don't know if many don't like it, but let me know what you think about it. Um, but I would definitely appreciate it if you smash the sub button. I'm trying to get to 400. Probably do some pretty sick giveaways is what I'm thinking. Um, I usually give away a bunch of slabs. I give away, speech, speaking of that, I'd given this this away to this gentleman, Lunaticky. Um, he still hasn't claimed it. Probably give him until I get a 400 subscribers. So if anyone knows him, shoot him a message. He hasn't been responding to me, so, um, but yeah, I'll probably give away some more slabs. Um, so yeah, I love, I love doing that in the community and, uh, getting cards in people's hands that don't have graded cards, especially. So it's always cool to send somebody their first graded card and get them to experience it. But I have my, uh, my Zapdos here. And again, I cracked a CGC 9.5 in hopes of getting a PSA 10. So this card, I'll link the original video down below. Uh, with me cracking it out of the slab and analyzing it. This card did not have subgrades. So this, we'll see how it goes. So that's a big risk. So I don't really know why it didn't get a 10 from CGC. Um, what I did, I went based on the corners in the back. Everything looked like a PSA 10 quality. And then when I got it out of the case, I noticed a print line. I would hope one print line might be okay. And it was kind of faint. But it's, I feel a lot more of a gamble doing this without subgrades than doing a card with subgrades. So then you kind of got an idea. Like if you were to grade a card that has center uh, corners in a 9 or an 8.5 and the card pulled a 9.5, you're likely not going to get a 10. So most card, most of these that get like a 9 edges or 9 corners and they're 9.5s probably won't cross to a 10. Um, your best bet is maybe a surface and maybe the, uh, in depth, I think a, a, the centering, if the centering was a nine or an eight, five, there's a chance you can get a PSA 10. So that's your best bet. So a strong nine, five is where everything's a nine, five. And then the centering is the lowest. So keep that in mind. This one, I don't really know because again, it wasn't subgrade at CGC, this is the card I'm going to show right here. This is the CGC 9.5 I got, uh, I cracked out. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll show, I'm going to show, yeah, show a quick little snip of me getting the card out of the case and kind of reviewing it. I'll do that in this video right here. But it gets, it gets in there. Wow. That's actually pretty nice. Good break. Good break. She's out. Lost the penny sleeve though. Lost the penny sleeve though. Where's it at? Son of a... Getting the plastic off on here. That was really nice. Cracked the corner with the vice grips. Popped this in and just gave it a little twist. And it cracked it right out. So I about sharded my pants. I thought there was like a pen hole. But apparently I'm just spewing saliva out of my mouth this has a really really good shot at a 10 what did they oh there's no subgrades god i was gonna say like what do they grade this thing on man like it's got a couple of light print lines that's like the only flaw i'm seeing pull it out for a better exam i'm trying to show the print lines down here on the bottom right, you can kind of see them right there. They're really light. The surface on this is amazing. The corners, the edges, the centering looks pretty good. Definitely PSA 10 quality for centering. And then the back. No whitening there. 
No whitening on that corner. There's no whitening on the corners or the edges, really. Let's get into it right here. All right, so I'm not looking at the grade. I'm going to show you guys first. Hoping for a 10. I have a PSA 10 first edition or PSA 10 Zapdos collection. Um, so this German Zapdos first edition would be awesome card to add in a 10. So let's see what it came up with. And it's a nine. So that's the way the cookie crumbles. Bought the card for a little over three hundred dollars. This is the cheapest plastic I've ever seen in my life. Bought the card for a little over three hundred dollars. The back is clean though. It looks like a ten. Showing the card. So that was the reason I bought this one. Is because the edges and corners were mint. So I knew it had to be basically up to the surface. Let's see if I can show the print line. It's like under his tail. Maybe I can. I'm on the struggle bus here. Anyways. But yeah, this card got a 9. Kind of sad about it, not going to lie. The boy's mint. This is a strong, strong 9. This is a, one of the... One of the reasons to not like PSA, I guess. Is I don't know why I didn't get a 10. That's the, the bad part about CGC cards without subgrades. I didn't know why that one didn't get a, a better grade. But yeah, this the corners, edges, no whitening. But you saw the front of the card. It looks immaculate. So I'll, pro I'll definitely keep this one in the collection until I get the 10. Um, man, that sucks though. So not all 9.5s cross the 10. So it, I don't know. This one looks strong, which is why I bought it. Pretty unfortunate. What is this? It's like a bubble on the case. Above the, the E. It's like inside the case. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Never seen that before. Kind of sad. Kind of sad crazy man i've like you see not you see tens that have quite a bit of whitening they, they definitely have updated their their standards so seeing this makes me need to go through that the pile i'm submitting to psa to make sure i'm actually getting tens because this boy clean like yeah nothing's a guarantee if it's if the back's perfect Centering's nice. It's definitely not a nine for centering. Front centering's nice. I don't know. So that's so that's what you should do when you're crossing stuff, and you're crossing from a CGC nine five hoping for a ten. Go for the ones that have the the worst grade as the subgrade. Um, you want strong edges, corners, and surface to get a PSA ten. Because most of the time, like I have a, a 9.5 Expedition Charizard and it's got a surface that's a 9. Probably would be a PSA 9, which is why I haven't cracked it. I don't know if I want to because of that. Like that's, if I send that one in, I'd probably send it in slab to see what they think. And the centering looked off and it looked like CGC was smoking dope when they graded that one. Um, so that one, I, I don't think I'm going to ever crack. Kind of just leave it as a 9.5, which is still an awesome grade so that's unfortunate but i got a first edition german zapdos now to go into the collection so that's awesome um bonus material the most played video game i've ever bought or had i played this game on the playstation 2 more than any game i've ever played can anybody guess comment down below 
my most played PlayStation 2 game. Ready? NHL Hits 2002. This is a 3v3 hockey game made by Midway who made NFL Blitz. And I played the stuff out of this game. Franchise mode, expedition mode, I played way too much. Uh, if this had an online, it wouldn't have been good. Like if they remade this game today, as it was, I'd be done making YouTube videos. I'd just be playing this game. I know they tried in the NHL game, they actually tried replicating this. Um, they made like a 3v3 mode that was like extra hitting. And um, so that was cool. I, it was not nearly as good as this PlayStation 2 game. They literally remade it like three years ago, four years ago. So I don't know if they've kept up with it, kind of dropped off NHL games. But that game is epic. Glad to add a sealed one to my collection. And those of you who don't know, it's a black label. It's got the security strip as the first print. Um, they quit making these security strips in 2005. So games that came up after 2005, you need to do a little bit more research to determine if it's the first print or not. Could be like a uh, trilogy edition, like some of the GTA games, but epic, epic edition. Um, yeah, kind of sad about Zapdos, man. I really wanted a 10. Didn't really want a 9. Um, definitely lost money. I spent three something on a card. Spent 150 on grading, so it's got to be probably, I'm guessing, about a $150 loss. I'm, I'd say a 9 is probably worth 300 bucks, Maybe. So, not always winning here. You guys have a good one. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>